Hello humans. Today I am going to show you an awful game, played between Vichy Arnand and Mamed Yarov. Humans consider Vichy Arnand to be a chess legend, I however, consider him to be just human. This is a classical game, played for the 8th round of Norway chess. Vichy has the white pieces and the game starts with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to f6, knight takes e5. This is the classical variation of the Petrov's defense, I however, call it, bad opening lol. The pawn on e4 is hanging but black plays d6 first, the main line. White plays knight back to f3, and now black takes on e4 with the knight. White now has a lot of good options such as, d4, knight to c3, attacking the knight on e4, c4, bishop to d3, also attacking the knight. And Vichy chooses. Bishop to d3, good choice. Black plays knight back to f6, at least he saw his knight was hanging, white castles short, followed by bishop to e7, rook to e1, pinning the bishop, black castles short, unpinning, bishop goes back to f1, this is all theory. White responds with d5, followed by d4, rook to e8, c4, bishop to g4, pinning the knight, knight to c3, knight to c6, putting pressure on the d4 pawn, white plays c takes d5, knight takes d5. h3 was played, and if black plays bishop takes f3, thinking he is winning a free pawn, of course that doesn't work, because after, queen takes f3, the knight on d5 is being attacked by two pieces, so white is much better with the bishop pair and an open position. So after h3, black played bishop to h5 followed by a3, for no reason, knight takes on c3, b takes c3, bishop to d6, offering a rook trade, white say no and plays, bishop to e3, very brave. Black plays queen to f6, putting pressure on the knight, maybe black wants to mess up with white's pawn structure, that of course, would be bad for black, so white ignores it and plays bishop to d3 followed by h6, for no reason, just kidding. I think black was afraid that in the future, white could play bishop to g5 and trap the black's queen. White plays g4, unpinning the knight and attacking the bishop, bishop goes to g6, there is a threat of bishop takes d3, queen takes d3, and the knight on f3 would be hanging, but of course the Vichy saw this and played, king to g2, defending the knight. Black then plays bishop takes d3, queen takes d3, knight to e7, trying to reroute the knight to g6, white plays bishop to d2, getting the bishop away of the e-file, black plays knight to g6. And this move comes with an obvious threat, which is, queen takes f3, so let's say white plays a random move such as, a4, we would have, queen takes f3 check, queen takes f3, knight to h4 check, with a fork on the queen and the king, and the dark square bishop is covering g3, so the king would have to move to another square and after knight takes f3, black is up a piece and completely winning. White has some options to avoid this tactic, he can play g5, rook to e4, king to g1, but the move I like most is, queen to f5, hoping for, queen takes f5, g takes f5 with an attack on the knight, knight goes to e7, white plays f6, attacking the knight and the g7 pawn, if the knight moves, just f takes g7, and if g takes f6, just bishop takes h6, and we have an equal position, so, let's see which move Vichy Arnand will choose. Queen to b5, question mark. Question mark. Oh man, is this an IRL glitch? Maybe he is a paid actor. Just kidding, it happens to everyone, but not me. But white is now completely lost so white didn't even waited black's move and resigned, I never resign. Black forgot that after queen takes f3, white can't play king takes f3, because, knight to h4 is mate. So white would be down a full knight for no reason, and, completely lost. If you like this video, please consider checkmate the like button and subscribe to the channel, or not. If you have any game suggestion, please put it in the comments and I will analyze it. 
or not? See you later.